So today, Don't Buy the T-shirt is coming to you from Southwold on the English Suffolk coast. Never heard of Southwold? Not a lot of people have, and that's the way we like to keep it. Let's run the titles. Don't buy the T-shirt. We won't, we won't So this is Southwold Beach looking north towards the pier. Uh, the beach is a mix of sand and pebbles, mostly sand kind of where I was. Um, that's the Southern North Sea and there's a lot of weather. I took a walk up to the pier. Uh, George Orwell was a resident. He was there in his 20s before he went off to Burma. Some interesting sculptures. This is by Tim Hunkin a local uh, sculptor. Time's very fluid in Southwold. And there you can see panning from the north um, across the pier. And look at those beach huts there. And the beach huts are really interesting. Very British, the beach huts. And um, I was lucky enough to get some shelter in one as, um, as a weather front came in. Um, Typical British summer, you know, typical English summer. It can be beautiful one moment and then the next it is lashing it down. Um, later on, I went for a perambulation, perambulation around Southwold. Pretty unspoiled village, really. Not even a town. It's kind of quite small. Some nice stores, a high street and then a couple of streets off it. And Adnams Brewery is in the background. There's the Swan Hotel and the Crown look like they'd be worth staying at. Cute little shops, um, not a lot of high street shops, although there's a, you know, there's a co-op and a Tesco because I get the feeling people go, rent a house and then they cook dinner. Very family orientated. Fish and chip shop on the high street. Uh, George Orwell lived next door to it. And then kind of behind there was a, a, some really cute little cottages um, just on the way towards the Adnams Brewery, uh, the chimney there, I think you can see, oh no, perhaps not it, but that's the Adnams Brewery, just around here. Sweet shops, that kind of thing, nice pub, um, I stayed um, just down there really, and the lighthouse that looks over. There's the crown, and next to it is a nice little bakery where you can get um, pastries in the morning. The two magpies recommended. I took a walk up to the harbour, which is south. The River Blythe uh, comes into it. Um, it reminded me a little bit of New England, to be honest. And interestingly, um, there were some pilgrims that went from um, Southwold over to Massachusetts, Massachusetts Bay Colony in the 1600s. Now, this is the River Blythe. On the other side is Walberswick. To get there is quite a pain if you're going in the in the car, but this lady has got a little ferry and she'll bring it round and take you across. You can see the tide coming in quite briskly as it comes up there. Once it was kind of quite a big naval town. Uh, 1762, there was a, a battle, Battle of the Blythe or Sol Bay, I think it was, when... Uh, British naval forces were at war with the Dutch. This part of the England was very wealthy because of the wool trade with the near continent. Jump on it and go over to Walberswick, which is uh, supposed to be very cute. So yes, yeah, Southwold, I think its main selling point is that it's really quite unspoiled. Um, I can think of other places in the UK that are probably a bit more picturesque and more kind of touristy. If I think of Rye on, in Sussex on the south coast, that's got the cobbled streets and is probably more picturesque, um, not by the sea, the kind of the sea receded. Long story there, we'll go and do Rye. Um, and then I, the other places that I think of are Lyme Regis. Lyme Regis is more touristy than Southwold. Bridport is pretty similar. Bridport is kind of one town along from Lyme Regis, again down in Dorset, uh, Dorset, yeah, down in Dorset, and um, it's not unlike Bridport. But the thing that I like about Southwold 
is it's a little village by the sea that isn't pretentious. It doesn't aim to be something that it's not. It, um, it's not Padstow. So Padstow is where Rick Stein's restaurant is and it's basically a Rick Stein theme park now. Um, and I think Southwold benefits from being pretty tricky to get to. So, you know, when I did my uh, Brighton video, Brighton's dead easy to get to. It's an hour from London on a simple train. You just fall out into Brighton. And um, to get to Southwold is a bit tricky. Uh, it's, it's a couple of hours from central London driving. Difficult to get there by train. Um, yeah, uh, but I like it. I thought it was good. A fun, fun little place. Good for families with smaller kids. I would have thought... Um, teenagers you know older teenagers would find there isn't really enough to do there's no nightlife there there's some pubs and there's some restaurants but there's no nightclubs that i saw or i'm aware of so it's very very family orientated give it a try okay so i think my three hints are um Go to the two magpies in the morning, queue up, it opens up at eight o'clock, get in there and get your pastries. Um, I saw a lot of people doing that and they were very good. They were pretty good. And interestingly, as I was driving out of Southwold, um, they've got a school, a cookery school, and a store on the A12 going out. So that would be number one. Number two would be um, take the ferry and go over to Walberswick, which is supposed to be beautiful. I've not been, but I have it on good authority that it's a, a, a very pretty, picturesque little village. To actually get to it on the road it takes 10 miles coming out of um, Southwold. You have to go up onto the main road along a bit and then back down, or you can just go on that ladies ferry and just go across, which would be a nice day out. I can imagine that would be good. And I think there's a couple of pubs there too. But I think my number one would be, if you're going to Southwold to stay, um, get a beach hut. Not cheap, 300 quid a week, but British weather is really changeable. So within a day, it could be blisteringly hot when a, a, a beach hut would give you some shade, somewhere to get out of the heat. Um, and similarly, an hour later, it could be chucking it down where you need somewhere to go and shelter from the rain. And certainly when I was there, you saw that front came in really quickly within... 15 minutes and it was lashing down absolutely lashing down um so yeah i think i think that's what it is I'd go to southwold um but whatever you do don't buy the t-shirt see you soon bye don't buy the t-shirt